All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, actually, I wasn't planning to go online again because we have many hours today. Uh, but I received an email about a complaint from the Pakistani government, and I could not hold myself from laughing that the government of Pakistan. I don't want to share the email from YouTube because it might be not allowed to do so. But for sure, we are using YouTube, and YouTube they can hear us. Uh, the Pakistani government they filed a legal complaint against Christian Prince. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> I was reading the email and I could not believe it. So YouTube, very kind of them, they did not really take the side of Pakistani government, but they report to me that the Pakistani government they filed a com legal complaint, a complaint about my channel and my videos. And obviously, my videos making a lot of Pakistani people leave Islam. All right, uh, and obviously, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I am wanted now in Pakistan. That's for sure. Um, but I find it very funny that a country like Pakistan, I mean, this country. There's millions of people have no food, no job, no housing, no school. I mean, and then they are worried. They are worried about Christian Prince and they file a legal complaint. So now we have like a, I don't know how big I am, but look like Pakistan. The Pakistani people, they say they have a nuke. So we have a country, have a nuke, and we have a Christian prince. Interesting. And why my videos are not... Uh, they don't comply with the country of Pakistan. For this is a country who nobody dare to open his mouth and say what he believe. So the law of Pakistan is the law of terrorism. Otherwise, you tell me why you are complaining. I mean, look and, and look how they are, how how stupid of them. You are complaining about someone who live in USA, in a country who don't believe in your, you know, like um, you know, silencing people for speaking their mind, and you think. That they will really stop me? Do you really, Pakistani government, think that you can stop me from saying what I am saying just because you file what it's called legal? What is legal about your file? Nothing. But this is telling you, my friend, that what we do is extremely important. And what we do reach to very high rank in the government of Pakistan, and I will not be surprised. Maybe the 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 children of Norman uh, uh, Imran Khan, sorry, or the president Arivi Alivi, they left Islam because of me. Otherwise, I want to know what made it so urgent to the government of Pakistan to send legal complaint to Google. Complaining about a eh, eh, channel in YouTube run by a person his name is a Christian prince. You know what I mean? So uh, I find that this is a very, very good sign of success, is not the opposite. And if you try to sign us, us my, my friend, you know, keep trying. Because nobody will be able to sign as the truth. And I have my videos. This is why I always say to people, please download my videos, share them everywhere. Because the point is they can tr they try their best to stop somebody 
saying the truth from saying his truthful words to you sharing his knowledge if those people did not find that this guy is very dangerous to the cult of Islam they will not take such an action and file all the way to Google and I will not be surprised if they contacted them through the embassy of Pakistan or etc and God knows how many papers now they have against me in their file uh, <clears throat> But at the same time, I was really, I was laughing. I was like, I, I opened my email to see, like, what is that? I wish I can share the email with you. You would die laughing too. <laughs> you see, usually I get complaint, maybe copyright of somebody or etc. But a complaint from government, and I was saying to me, government who? You know, like the, the, the email did not say right away. And then at the end of the email, it says the government of Pakistan. I was saying, maybe Trump, government, upset from me. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Okay. Brother and sister. This guy is a crazy Christian prince, and he is making our children see the truth. And we have to stop him. So we decide to find a compliment to the government or in the in the in USA. And you are going to put him in prison. Uh, Brother Zachary Naik, why you want to put me in prison? What I did? Because you are saying a lot of things against Islam, and this is forbidden. Uh, like what I said is against them. As an example, you always say that the prophet is lying. And the prophet is the only one who said the truth. Well, when the prophet says that women have a sperm coming from their ribs, do you think this is true? Absolutely. And you are a liar. Come to Pakistan and we will explain to you. If you come to Pakistan, you will see that we are going to convince you that this is the truth. Yeah, if I go to Pakistan, for sure you will convince me that Muhammad is saying the truth. I will be convinced in two seconds. <laughs> I mean, I feel really uh, what a gov what kind of government this government is. You have nothing to do except Christian Prince. Go feed your people. Go find jobs for them. Go create jobs. Go you know fight terrorism. Go even control your land. You know, forty percent of Pakistan is under the control of Taliban, and those guys are worried about Christian Prince. Actually, even a, a big mullah, after they release uh, what her name, this poor woman, the Christian woman, they accuse her to insult Muhammad or insult Islam. Uh, the big mullah, he have like tens of thousands of terrorists in the street asking for her death, and even he threatened to kill the prime minister. But you are not different from those third people. Because here we go, you are wondering why your country is full of terrorists when you are trying to do the same. You are a government, but yet you have the same mentality of terrorism. If somebody don't agree with us, we silence him. This is what terrorism is about. For sure, if I was in Pakistan, legally I would be arrested and legally I would be executed. This is terrorism. Just for speaking your mind, you will be executed. You are not allowed to use your mind. It's forbidden. So they say to you, we are against terrorism, but the fact all of them, they promote and they practice terrorism. Terrorism, my friend, start from the second you, you know, you force people not to speak what they believe. This is terrorism. And this is how you create the system of terrorism. And the mentality of terrorism. If you go and see YouTube, you will see every channel I make, every video I make, I see how many people they threat me. Because they grow up in a such, such a system. They are not used to hear somebody or someone else who don't agree with their belief. You have to agree with us, otherwise we will kill you. So back then they thought, you know, they, they thought they can they can stop us and we can, they can force us uh, uh, not to say our mind and not to say the truth about Islam, but keep trying. Not you, not your prince, president, not your, even if I am back, even if you get arrested, I will never regret saying one word against Islam. 
you might threaten people to to do physical harm torture them etc or even force them to say things they don't believe in but the end of the day you are the loser not us what about the government of Pakistan bring me their mufti the highest scholar of Islam in Pakistan and refute me so you cannot refute me you want to silence me prove me wrong All right so I wanted just to uh, Allah is the greatest you're right this is why he need Pakistan government to protect him <laughs> Allah the greatest need a, need the government of Pakistan to protect him for, for protect him from from who from a YouTube guy I mean if a YouTube video is a threat to your God what kind of God he is the greatest can't your God you know why why Pakistan even need to protect Allah what about Allah himself he protect himself okay Allah cut my internet Cut my internet. Here we go. Allah, I challenge you. Okay, forget about the internet, Allah. Cut my voice. At least do something. Guys, you hear me? Do you hear me, guys? My, my voice is cutting, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, you have God. The cockroaches is attacking the Kaaba, and your God could not do anything for them. Christian Prince is making YouTube, and your God could not do anything. And now Pakistan trying to protect the God of Islam. Come on, my friend. Your God is 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 not exist. What kind of God? He need a government to protect him. Why? Why you know uh, we don't see a Christian government? They make a fight against somebody because he spoke about about Christianity. There is people they say all kind of crazy stuff against Christianity. Why Muslims they need to protect Islam by forcing people not to talk? Unless you feel that what we say is a bigger threat. And you have no answer for it right <clears throat> careful with your words uh, here we go careful with your words my friend I'm very careful I'm very careful your God is false God what do you want more do you want me to be more careful mr. Osman or Osama huh? do you want me to be more careful your God is in disability your God is an idol your God is not a spirit, and he don't eat, and he don't talk, and he don't hear. Prove me wrong. Can you? I'm very careful. I'm very careful, but the problem is your God is not careful. He, sp he spoke too much in the mouth of Muhammad, and he exposed Islam. Next time, our friend tell your prophet to be careful when he talk, because by talking he expose Islam and show us Islam to be a fin funny, stupid religion. So this is my. Uh, I, I don't want to stay here long. Actually, I'm not going to keep this video. I just want to uh, to share this with you because I found it funny and kind of uh, entertaining. Uh, I hope soon I will receive a complaint from the Saudi government. And by the way, this is not the first time. Um, many years ago, if you search on the internet, search for Christian Prince in Iranian TV, you can, might find it in YouTube. The Iranian government, they look for people who uh, attack Islam, and supposedly we are the phobia, we are you know the liars, you know. So they could not find from YouTube anyone to speak about as an example of those who they have uh, 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 they attack Islam uh, except Christian Prince. So this is not the first time for me I encounter such a thing. Uh, but this is the first time I receive a complaint, legal complaint, from a government. And this time it is the government of Pakistan as uh, YouTube informed me. Uh, well, I'm so glad that uh, I became known for the Prime Minister of Pakistan and for the President of Pakistan. And I hope the Prime Minister, he will make a conference about me soon. And that will make it really, really, really good. Because, you see, uh, Salman Rushdie, once he made a book, it's called Satanic Verses. And actually, his book, nobody read it. I mean, it wasn't really known. But then suddenly, people, they look in the TV and they found 
like 20 million people in the street shouting Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar death to Salman Rushdie and then his book became number one seller around the earth not only in one place by the help of the Abdul so I hope and I pray <laughs> I pray <laughs> That they will make a, a, a TV conference about Christian Prince and his a threat to Islam uh, uh, about his book the deception of Allah um, anyway let them try their best we are we are laughing and at the same time we don't hate people of Pakistan I love everybody and actually I have I met Pakistani people in my last trip to Texas they are very wonderful very beautiful people and I went to their churches very amazing you know kind people I went to uh, uh, the one who invited me to uh, to uh, to his house actually uh, and I met with his family his parents his wife very very beautiful family and there is actually when I went in the airport um, they are very humble and very kind you know I found two of uh, two Pakistani brothers they are waiting for me and they they you know shower me with their with their with their love and their uh, uh, you know care so we don't do things here against anyone we love people around the world it doesn't matter if you are a Pakistani if you are an Indian if you are an Arab if you're an Asian if you are white if you are black and actually uh, I just received today an invitation to go to Ghana and to Nigeria and I will think about it I will see if I can really do that uh, because African people they saw my debate with this guy from Nigeria who he claimed to be a big shot and they noticed they noticed how he been you know I mean I don't want to say the word destroyed because destroyed maybe is not enough uh, so God is good and the more they attack us the more we are successful it's not going to be the opposite uh, Come to Saudi Arabia. Who said to you I did not go to Saudi Arabia? <laughs> I know Saudi Arabia more than you, my friend. Do you know what? Call me. Call me. You have no idea. You have no idea you are talking to who. Mm, come to Saudi Arabia. My friend, we are in Saudi Arabia. Your, your, your country is protected by us. Don't you know? Don't you know? And even if I go to Saudi Arabia, do you think me as an American citizen, they will dare to arrest me in your Saudi Arabia? But come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, come to Saudi Arabia anyway um, I'm happy that the government of Pakistan are complaining because I'm sure that complaint did not come to exist unless a lot of people didn't notice that my videos are doing a big harm to the cult of Islam and a lot of Muslims in Pakistan are leaving uh, are leaving Islam otherwise there's no way that you know somebody speaking in YouTube his videos will go to the government and when we say government here I mean like to make uh, to make such a uh, such a complaint you have to be uh, someone really doing a big harm I mean there's a lot of people making videos against Islam right so for me this is a success very good success and um, I hope we will reach that we will have a received complaint from all Islamic government around the world and I'm really upset. I mean, where is the government of Saudi Arabia? What is the government of Jordan? Where is the government? I mean, where are you guys? I mean, come on, do something. We want more complaint from more government. Are you saying to me that the Pakistani government are more Muslims than you? What a shame. Right? What a shame. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to stay long. Download the video. I will not keep it there for long. Maybe next time I will take a selfie picture with the Prime Minister of Pakistan, you know. 
because I'm sure he is dying to invite me to Pakistan and there is millions of people, Muslims will be waiting for me in the airport and right away when they see me give me a hug give me a hug a Christian Prince all the Muslims there will like they will be fighting over and they want to invite me home they will give me dinner and like even some of them they would like um, they are you will not believe it how much they will be waiting for me um what if i say i'm going to go to the say next week to pakistan and i put the date and what do you think guys how many people will be waiting for me in the airport in pakistan hmm i don't know a thousand two thousand ten thousand if the poor woman her name whatever her name uh, uh, the poor woman who insulted Muhammad there is more than three hundred thousand went in the street they want they, they want her death so imagine Christian Prince <laughs> oh boy you Muslims made me laugh anyway we pray for the salvation of everybody and uh, i advise the prime minister of pakistan to watch my last video because this one need a huge complaint from you my friend i mean here i believe you should talk about me in the front of the united nation watch my video which i made three hours ago and man you will make a big complaint to trump united nation uh, the government of France, the government of England. I mean, you have to gather all your friends. Maybe they can do something about it. And again, this is why we say, let us please download the videos and share them everywhere. Our videos are doing good work. And they try to fight it. And actually, I'm thankful that YouTube did not do i mean they were right about uh, not allowing pakistan to stop me they did not take my videos down i really appreciate what youtube did, did. Uh, but they just sent me a notice that the pakistani government they have a legal uh, claim against my videos and uh, uh, that youtube did not uh, agree with them uh, but maybe they will not be able to view those videos from Pakistan. You know? Um, but it's okay. I mean, people, they can copy the videos and post them in different video, uh, YouTube, and that will make them be able to watch the same videos which, you, you know, Pakistan is complaining about. Which videos are talking about? Why flying? Okay. Well, I don't know, you know about the cockroaches. I think those cockroaches maybe they are paid by the Jews. You know, we have to blame the Jews for everything. We are Arab. We play that. We blame the Jews for anything. If a guy he could not have sex with his wife, he blamed the Jews. If your tooth broke in your mouth, you blame the Jews. If you sneeze, you blame the Jews. If we have no electricity, we blame the Jews. If we have no food, we blame the Jews. If your wife should cheat on you, you blame the Jews. I mean, it's a tradition. So <laughs> we we have to maintain the tradition, my friend. <laughs> Actually, once I was in the airport, and you know, I have a cup with me, and I want to make some coffee. I have like those powder coffee, so I want to make coffee, and. Uh, there was a guy walking i said do you know where is the hot water machine i said actually i'm looking for it too so we walked together and then we saw the machine from far away and we came and then i said to him you first and then uh, it's not it's not working so for me i was just you know joking i said oh it's not working let us blame the jews he looked at me he said i'm a jew <laughs> he said, are, you, are you serious you're a jew he said yeah <laughs> I said, I am an Arab. He said, no way. <laughs> the coffee machine is not is not working. And I said to him, let us blame the Jews. And and and, and the funny, what make it more funny, he looked at me, he said, what? I said, let us blame the Jews. I said, 
I am a Jew. I said, really? I said, yeah. I said, why do you want to play me? <laughs> I said, I'm just joking. By the way, I'm an Arab. He said, ah, now I know. You guys, you play us for everything, right? I said, I will play you for everything. But he noticed I'm, I'm laughing and I'm, I don't mean it. It was very funny. Oh, boy. <clears throat> what we can do? Let us blame the Jews. Okay. Um. Oof. Anyway, I'm not going to stay here longer. Uh, please download the video, share it around, and say hello to the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, and say, Christian Prince, he say hello to you. And Imran Khan, I promise you that my videos will go to every home in Pakistan and don't try. Because you blame the Christian prince, you claim that you you blame the Jews, it doesn't matter. They are coming. You cannot. This is the problem with the technology, my friend. We were able to maintain Islam from being criticized for centuries by terrorism, by violence, by fabricating things, and by law to protect Islam. And that will not work. It's too late. In order to protect Islam, my friend, I advise you to forbid cell phones, internet, YouTube, Google, Facebook, Twitter, and every way to connect to the world. And that is impossible for you to do. So keep trying. Maybe next time we will be more successful. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. And may the Lord bless you. And send if you are from Pakistan, send my greeting to the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Amran Khan, and say to him, Christian Prince is waiting for you to send him a visa, so he can come to Pakistan, and he will became he you know I, I will uh, <laughs> I would like to have a a business dinner about my YouTube with him to discuss this is a nuclear issue, which is going to explode, dangerous issue. And we will discuss if we can settle our problem aside and maybe we can have a peace agreement between Christian Prince and Amran Khan. And for sure, I hope that Amran Khan, he will not go into war and use his army and weapon against Christian Prince because that is going to be very dangerous because you know Christian Prince is very well armed too. Uh, Christian Prince, he will start shooting videos back at Omran Khan. So Omran Khan will shoot missiles and nukes, and Christian Prince, he make YouTube and he shoot back. And let us see who is going to lose. I bet you that Omran Khan will lose. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Christian Prince, love you all. Bye-bye.